Incredible India, a land of immense natural diversity, home to a large variety of flora and fauna. But today, many of these species are endangered, threatened by the growing illegal trade in wild animals, plants and their derivatives. India's Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 provides protection to over 1800 species. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora CITES, bans the trade in over 830 species and restricts the trade in over 33,000 species. India has been a member of CITES since 1976. Yet despite strict laws, illegal wildlife trade continues because unknowingly we all participate in it. Tigers, India's national animal, have been reduced to critical numbers. Yet the skins, bones, derivatives of all Asian big cats command a high value and lead to their illegal killing. Many endangered and rare corals and shells are sold as souvenirs in our coastal regions. Sharks are illegally butchered because their fins are exported for exotic food like shark fin soup. Elephants are brutally killed for their tusks. Ivory figurines, carvings and jewellery command a high price in illegal markets. Trade in wild Indian bird species is prohibited but they are part of the illegal live bird pet trade. For every bird that reaches its final destination, many die on the way. Trade in reptile skin products of scheduled species is banned, but handbags, belts, wallets and other products are still offered for sale. Shatu shawls are tainted with the blood of Chiru, a highly endangered antelope. It is illegal to buy or sell Shatu shawls. International trade in 29 species of medicinal plants, orchids, timber, etc. in the raw form is prohibited, but it continues unabated. Rare butterflies are reduced to curios and souvenirs. Beer bile from endangered bear species and musk pods from the Himalayan musk deer can still be offered illegally for sale. The list is long and ever increasing as we push more and more species to critical numbers. Don't buy trouble. When you buy or acquire an illegal wildlife product or souvenir, you may actually be buying trouble for yourselves. Hunting of protected species of wildlife or possession of and trade in them on their derivatives is illegal and severely punishable under the law. As a concerned citizen, you can help. If you come across any information on wildlife trade, you may contact the local forest or police officials, customs at airports, seaports and other international transit points, regional offices of the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, Traffic India. Remember, our natural treasures are our common heritage for each of us to enjoy, cherish and protect. Act now before it is too late. Stop illegal wildlife trade. The eyes of the world are watching.